Hello, Jessica Drewricks back for another video, and Thursday we got the Series 11 minifigure picks, and uh, they were provided from Brickset by Herman Naprilia, I cannot pronounce the last part, but he lives in Poland, and he found them on sale in Leclerc Supermarket, and so thank you Herman for posting these pictures, because they're really good quality pictures, and the first pictures we got of the whole series. So I'm going to be taking a look at each of the minifigures, I'm going to say if either they're a priority or not a priority. And priority is like something I will get um, the first day I find them, or tried to get. And then not priority will probably be, since I'm, I might get this in maybe like a week span, kind of like I did with the Series 10 minifigures, priority would be the stuff that I don't really get the first day, but who knows, I might just get the whole series the first day I find them. But these do come out in September of later this year, so it's nice to find them kind of soon. They're coming soon, basically. And we'll start seeing them August, like in Series 8. Um, so yeah, now let's take a look at each of the minifigures. And so the first guy is the Barbarian. Um, sorry about that. The Barbarian is not really my favorite minifigure because he's kind of like one of those warrior minifigures or battle minifigures. Um, I did like the Roman minifigure, but I didn't really like... Well, no, not the Roman, the Spartan. Um, I didn't really like... I thought the Roman was okay. Uh, but the... There was, like, the the Minotaur I didn't really like. And the, um, the Highlander guy I didn't like. But, um... This guy, he is... Yeah, he kind of is meh to me. He's not a priority for sure. Um, I kind of like how he has boots. But then again, the problem with boots I see, or, like, shoes, is that it kind of ruins continuity. And, uh, because some minifigures, if they don't have, like, shoes or whatever, then what's this? Does this just go over their legs? So that's what I don't really like about, um, shoes or boots on minifigures. I do like how he has Doc Ock's hair in, um, that same hair, or Dastin's hair in black. Um, I only had that hair in black from Doc Ock, so it's nice to get a few, um, another one. And, but the rest of the minifigure is kind of bland to me. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people love him. Next minifigure is the Scarecrow. This is one of my favorites. I know 8-Brick Mario from Eurobricks. A little shout out to him. I don't know. I don't think he has a YouTube channel. He shouldn't make one. He's really cool. Um, excuse me. I know he loves this minifigure. Personally, I think he's a really cool minifigure because he has this hat piece right here, which kind of reminds me of the Lone Ranger guy from the, um, the Constitution Train Chase set, the Cavalry Leader. And he comes with Tonto's um, crow right there, so that's pretty cool that they found a use for that crow piece because I couldn't really find a use for it other than Tonto. And, uh, yeah, so I think this is really a priority minifigure. I think he's really detailed. Love how he has arm printing right there and he just has a lot of detail on his shirt and his legs and his hair headpiece looks a little bit like a friendlier version of the Scarecrow from Batman. And next one is my favorite and the feminine side of me is just getting out right now, but I think this minifigure is adorable. I, I love her hair right there, the Bavarian girl. Um, her hair piece is just amazing. It's basically like kind of like the Luke Skywalker's hair, the new one, but um, kind of longer, you can see on the back. And, uh, or, yeah. And uh, you kind of see that it has a lot of, like, um, printing on the torso, which just looks really pretty. And then she has a nice skirt piece, which is paper, and really nice, kind of like a shoe piece. Well, not really shoe printing, because they're not kind of shoe, they're more like sandals on her legs right there, which just is all the more detailed. So I love this minifigure. This is my favorite of Series 11, so that's really cool. I think she's just adorable. Um, and I think Twitch has a little crush on her, but we'll get into that later once we review it. I might do some funny stuff with that. And uh, the pretzel piece is always nice to get another one of that. And so, yeah, overall, I think she's a fantastic minifigure. My favorite from the series, and one of the most adorable minifigures from the whole collectible minifigure line. And, uh, next figure is a Blacktron mech, and I think he's really cool, uh, because he's a nice reference to Blacktron, which you can kind of see the logo right there. It's like an upside-down Triforce from The Legend of Zelda. And, uh, what I think of this minifigure, I think he's really cool, too. Um, I love the, the kind of his accomplice from series, well, not accomplice, but, like, his rival from series 9, which was the battle mech. And so this is kind of like a, a palette swap of that, but with different printing and stuff like that. And we got really nice printing on the legs and then on the side arm right there. And nice printing on his headpiece. And then it, it's just an amazing figure. So this is a priority. All three of these minifigures are priorities, except the first one. I did not like that one. So just the three after the first one. The next guy is a tribal guy, um, or Islander guy as I call him, because he is obviously a reference to Islander from the Pirates line back in the 1990s. 
and stuff like that. And uh, I think that his mask piece is just really cool because he got that really nice mask. Um, and it's connected actually on the neck, which is kind of clever. And um, this is another priority for me, maybe a lower priority, but I really do love that mask. And I think this is done better than like the Indian Chief and stuff like that. And also, he does come with a hair piece that's kind of rare or a little bit obscure nowadays. This was in a Pirates of the Caribbean set, which is a cannibal escape or something, but I never got that set. And it was in some of the Islander pirate sets from the 90s and stuff like that. So, overall, I think he's a really cool minifigure. Obviously, a nice shout-out, nice reference. Same with the Blacktron reference to an older LEGO theme and stuff like that. Or, this was more of a sub-theme. Both of those are sub-themes. Next one is the Gingerbread Man. I know a lot of people love this guy. I know, um, I think CM4S loves this guy right now. And you can check out his channel right here. He has He's kind of making more reviews and stuff like that now, news and stuff. He's a nice guy. But anyways, um, I don't really like this minifigure. I think that his hair, his headpiece is a little bit weird, and I can't really find a use for him. Um, it's too thin to me, and a dunk me is probably my favorite part of it. Can't really find a use for him unless I make like a life-size gingerbread house as an attraction in my winter village. So, eh, he's not a priority. Next one is one of the cutest minifigures. Um, while um, the Bavarian girl is adorable, this one is just plain out cute. I think I love his little missing tooth right there, but he is the elf. Maybe like Santa's little elf or whatever. And I can find a few uses for him. Maybe like a mall Santa place or a real Santa's workshop. But he's going to be... He fits with um, Santa in my Winter Village. So I'll put him in the Winter Village. And uh, so this guy... I love this minifigure. I think not only is his face really cute. But he also comes with a really cute little teddy bear. Um, a nice tile piece that has that little bow tie printing on it. And uh, his hat piece is the elf hat or the gnome hat which I never got, but with an extra little um, elf ears right there. Someone could maybe make that into a Link minifigure, like use that on a Link minifigure. I, I don't know how it will work, but you'd probably have to flip the hat piece, but it might look a little bit weird, so I'm interested to see what people do with that. And, of course, you'll have to paint this peach. And next guy is um, the Yeti, and I don't really like this minifigure. I know a lot of people like him. Like, I think 8-Brick Mario, again, mentioning him, liked him at first, like that was like his first favorite minifigure when we first got the pictures for him. Um, he reminds me of the Rankin Bass Rudolph Yeti, I forgot his name. He's, eh, I can't really find a use for him. I, I think they shouldn't have made this a molded headpiece, but something more like this where, I think this is Bumbor from uh, The Hobbit. I know it's he's from The Hobbit, but I think he's Bumbor. I, I totally forgot the dwarf names. But they could have made maybe like a regular headpiece and then put kind of like a beardish piece where it covers all around that and make that like that right there and then you could have scaled it down a little bit and it would have looked much better but this one is just eh, I think it, it's, it wasn't necessary to be molded can't really find any other uses for him except that he has that nice popsicle piece right there so um crap my computer's freaking out next one is the mountain climber this is a kind of cool minifigure um, he is a priority to me um, and again he was not a priority uh, I really love this piece right here. I think this is my favorite part of this. It's like a new piece, kind of like a rope piece. It's very useful. Um, and then we got this nice pickaxe, pickaxe, ugh, pickaxe piece, <laughs> pickaxe, um, which is has some nice printing right there. You can see. Um, so it's it's not a new piece, but it has a new printing, so that's nice. Um, and he has a nice helmet piece in red. That helmet piece in red, I don't think we've ever gotten in red. Um, let me see. Did we get it from the Gravity Games? No, I don't think so. So, um... This I love this guy just for his helmet and these two pieces right here. So he's a really cool minifigure, and he is a, maybe a, a little bit of less priority, but he's still a priority. Next one's the welder. I think the welder is really cool. He's kind of like the biohazard guy from Series 4, and I love his helmet piece, and I love that little welding piece right there connected to that um, cylinder piece with a new printing on it. Not really a big fan of his torso, and his legs should have maybe had printing or something like that. But otherwise, I think this is just a fantastic minifigure. Probably my favorite um, besides the Bavarian girl and the elf. So, yeah, I love this minifigure. Interested to see if that connects on the, the neck, kind of like the tribal guy, or if it's just a helmet piece, like it connects on the top. Um, and I'm curious to see what his headpiece or facial expression looks like. Next one is the scientist, and I think the scientist girl is another fantastic minifigure. I love how she's cartoony, and uh, you can see her torso is kind of like a cartoon torso. But it's really detailed, too, so I really love that. You can see there's an uh, undershirt and then this part right here, so that's really cool. And then nice legs there. 
and we got a nice two nice the two nice new flasks the yeah, flasks with I think that's a new color I know this one is but I think that's a new color I'm not sure in the flask um, we might have got it I don't know uh, I know we got it in dark green and her hair headpiece it, facial expression is really cool I don't really like the eyebrows but otherwise I love the facial expression very useful and so yeah, I think that's a really cool minifigure. Definitely a priority. Next guy is the Blues Brothers guy. Definitely a reference to the Blues Brothers um, uh, movies and the SNL skit. I think it was SNL, right? And uh, we got that really nice saxophone. I used to play saxophone back in the day. And uh, sorry I'm talking fast because I'm running out of battery. Um, so I love the saxophone piece. I think that's amazing. The torso is just really cool because I love, I love getting like suit torsos suit printings, and then his um, facial expression is kind of funny. It's, like, really serious. So, um, yeah, I think this is a low priority because I really do love that saxophone and the torso, and his face is pretty cool. So the next one is the dining girl, and the dining girl is um, kind of cool. I don't like her torso or her legs. We'll get into that later, but basically I love her hair piece. It's a nice new hair piece. It has its uses. It's not the most usable hair piece, but I think I could use it in a lot of ways, and I love hair in real life and I love it in Lego so that's really cool to get another new hair piece. Um we also got this um that little tray piece that I think was used with the waiter from series nine and uh we got a nice new color or it might be a new color, I'm not sure for the ice cream piece and a nice new color for those roller braid pieces. Wasn't too familiar with series nine so I never got those roller skate pieces but it's really nice to get this minifigure with all these pieces. She's very usable, except the torso. And the torso, I don't like it, and the legs. He has first thing, yellow on yellow looks a little bit weird. And I don't like how she has shoe printings. It looks a little bit off. But um, otherwise, I think she's a really cool minifigure. Definitely a low priority for me, because I really, really love that hair piece. The next one is the grandma. A lot of people don't like the grandma. But um, I love the grandma, because she has an awesome hair piece. I know that's Starlet's minifigure hair piece from series 9 in gray. I think that's really usable for a grandma. She has a really nice um, torso with um, nice little cat printings right there and then a nice new cat piece which kind of reminds you of the Chihuahua from series 10. And uh, I'm not sure if that's a white legs. That might be like kind of like a really faint um, blue. But the only part a lot of people don't like and I don't like is her hair, his, her facial expression. It looks a little bit too real to me. I was hoping for something a little bit more cartoony, but it's otherwise the rest of the figure is cool. You also get a nice basket. And the next one is British Bob. Well, I'm not British, so I, I don't really get this minifigure. Uh, this is very probably one of the least priorities except the next one, which we'll get into later. I like his little baton or whatever, or his... Uh, club, but otherwise I'm not a big fan of the rest of the minifigure, so he's going to be pretty low on my priority list. And last minifigure is the female robot, and I think the female robot is a really cool piece because, uh, well, a cool minifigure because she has some nice... Just kidding. She's one of the worst minifigures in this whole theme. I am sorry. I, I was joking right there. I'm sorry. She... There's no use for her. I can't find a use except for Maybe a little companion to that Series 9 robot, but um, the Clockwork robot. D they shouldn't have made this minifigure. Why does she have lipstick printing? Why does she have... Ugh. Who would put lipstick in, like, little dimple printing on their, on their robot? I, I would not put that. Ugh. And the pr it just looks ugly. I'm sorry, guys. I don't like this minifigure. So she's my, one of my least favorite minifigures of all the themes. But otherwise, this series, I think, is one of my favorites. Um, I love a lot of the minifigures, like the Bavarian girl and the elf girl, uh, elf, not girl, the little elf, and the welder, and I highly recommend this, uh, series. I'm gonna get probably the whole thing when I find it in September. So yeah, that's really it, and I'll see you guys later, and the next video I'm probably going to do for a thoughts video is on San Diego Comic Con. Uh, all the stuff that came out, my thoughts on them. So, sorry if this was a little bit long and I kind of rushed on it, because, um, I'm running out of memory, but peace out. Bye.